Hey guys, what's going on? It's John again from Character Red Workshop, and in this week's episode, we're going to make this awesome French cleat glue organizer for all my favorite wood glues in the workshop, and let's get to business. Step number one, we're going to cut all the lumber down to size. Right now, I am cutting up some zebra wood, paduk, and my all-time favorite walnut, and we are going to shortly go into step number two, which is gluing up all of the panels for this. So a little trick that I like to use while I'm gluing everything up is I like to take that blue painter's tape and I like to separate all those different glue ups that way they don't stick together and we can accomplish this in one glue up and it's a little bit stress free that way. Now, once we get that glue up accomplished, we're gonna take it over to the planer and we're gonna plane everything down because it's not gonna be the same thickness. So you wanna ensure that you get everything to the same thickness. And once we get that done, I can lay out how I want the holes for all these bottles to be. And I'm gonna take it over to my drill press and I'm just gonna hog all of these holes out. So I just played around with a couple of different layout options and uh, drew some circles and ultimately came up with a couple of different shelves that I like for the tight bond products and one for the star bond products. And you know, I just advise you to play around with it and make it your own. So I will go ahead and add that if you do not plan on using tight bond quick and thick, you do not have to do this. This doesn't have to be a part of your layout, but I got some tight bond quick and thick in a giveaway and I actually like the product and have a few bottles. So I figured I would incorporate it in and you know, it'd give me a little bit more of a challenge. Once we get done with that, we can take both of the shelves and sand and start using our rasp to get everything smooth and you know, ultimately looking presentable. So sticking with the hand tool theme, I wanted to create a nice edge profile for this and uh, I really like the color scheme that I had going on. So I broke out the HP8 from Bridge City Toolworks and decided to put a micro chamfer on both shelves and uh, just really kind of break it up. That way there's no sharp edges when I'm reaching for glue. Don't want to get any splinters or anything like that. And then we're gonna go into actually gluing it up. So um, for the Starbond shelf, I used Starbond CA glue. If you go to starbond.com and use code CRW15, you will get 15% of your order. For the Tight Bond shelf, I used a combination of Tight Bond and Starbond to help me set things a little bit faster. And uh, then you can really see the rest of the process. In order to get a solid edge profile on the backer for this French cleat, I broke out the router in a nice chamfer bit. Once that was complete, I turned to flipping it over and putting the French cleat on the back. So I actually measured this out because the area on my workbench that I want to put this on is on the side and I wanted it to be flush with the top of the workbench. That way everything is sitting horizontal and I don't really have to bend down to grab for any glues on where I'm gonna sit it. And you'll see that later on in the video. The next step, we're going to attach the shelves to the French cleat base or the backer. And once we do that, we are ready to hang this bad boy up and fill it with our favorite wood glues. 
and you know this is the part where I really enjoy because now I've got a home for all my glues and that is something that I've really come to enjoy is building builds for my workshop and making sure everything gets a home so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more builds or tool reviews please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that thumbs up button that like goes a long way you have no idea and as always we will catch you on the next video i appreciate you sticking around and watching have a good one